Well, you know, so much of the privilege I have, the ability to uh, be here, sitting here right now, is really because of so many trans women of color who have consistently put their lives on the line throughout history, you know? I'm grateful to have the access to the resources I've, I've had because I don't know what would have happened if, if I didn't. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Pretty chilling story coming out of Planet Fitness that um, had been covered up for some time, as well as I will give you a list of other major gyms that um, also, by the way, have the exact same policies as Planet Fitness. So I hope that this you'll find this video helpful. And if you do, make sure you have a like on it. And wherever you're watching, please take the time to subscribe and or follow. I know you might have to create an account, but it is ex immensely helpful in allowing me and helping me to reach you, which is the most important thing to me. I don't care where you watch, just that I can reach you and, um, and we can hang out and talk. Um, these, you know, these stories are constantly coming up more and more often. Here's a story from last night, okay, which I'm going to share with you that's shocking. Then I'm going to tell you about a story that happened at Planet Fitness this year that was covered up. So buckle up. I'm also going to remind you that my coffee company, which is apolitical, it's literally called Coffee Brand Coffee, has a 15% off site-wide sale going on this week. I hope I can earn your business. In my opinion, we have the best available coffee in the world. We're not some crap dropship company. We handle all the roasting, all the fulfillment. We're all right here in the United States. Promo code LOVE, 15% off any one of our items. Our blueberry cobbler, strawberries and cream, silky dark, butterscotch toffee are all of our top sellers. We have non-flavored coffee, an Ethiopian blend, Colombian blend, double caffeinated. We have K-Cups. We have our Roaster's Choice program, which is 50% off for this month only, where it is a, uh, for your first month, sorry, for only a few more days. It's the best coffee club on the internet. Just read the reviews. It's, it's, it's insane. I'd love to earn your business. Now, how Planet Fitness changing room policies compares to other gyms. I'm just going to go over this briefly because the other stories are far more important. If you're looking, this is important just because if you're looking for an alternative to Planet Fitness, right? Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym rules on locker rooms uh, say the chain's diversity, equity, and inclusion page. So Gold's Gym has one. It says any color, race, religion, orientation are always welcome. Well, duh but does not mention gender identity. The employment section, however, does include gender identity among its characteristics, saying all qualified applicants will be considered for employment. So you'd have to ask them specifically about their bathroom policies. The YMCA, we do know, allows biological men into the women's room. We know this. Crunch Fitness also allows biological men into the women's locker room. 24-hour fitness also allows biological men into biological women's changing rooms. Just so everyone knows, you know, if you happen to be looking for a different uh, changing room, you know, just so you know, there's that. Now I want to bring up this story that was originally covered by Redux magazine, uh, Redux website, sorry, um, in September, just a few months ago. Georgia man arrested after uh, uh, unleashing the meat to somebody who was just 15, of course, in a biological man in the biological women's locker room. A man has been arrested for, you know, unleashing it to someone who's underage at a Planet Fitness uh, gym in Monroe. Despite being aware that the man had a history of doing this, Planet Fitness employees reportedly stated the man had a right to use the women's facility as per the gym's gender self-identification policy. So even though he had a history of doing this to women, Planet Fitness said, nope, put him in there with the women. He gets to do that. Are you paying attention yet? Jacob Jacoby Dixon, 25, was arrested on September 14th following a brief manhunt by Monroe police. He was charged with multiple counts of doing this. Um, and then he also has done it to other people and gym employees. According to the kid's aunt, the teen had been standing near the showers in the locker room when the man 
ripped the curtain back and did what he did. He said that she was shocked and startled and quickly started to leave the room. Dixon reportedly called out to the girl saying she could stay and continued to speak to her as she hastily exited. Peel said that she and the girl's mother went to the gym the next day and spoke to management about the incident, although the staff told her that they were aware of several other complaints about the man and knew who he was, they insisted that he had a right to use the woman's locker room. Staff also promised to warn him not to do it again. Even though he had done it multiple times, they had a... I mean, why isn't Planet Fitness getting sued by this family? You would think that this would be a slam dunk lawsuit. You would think. In a Facebook post, Dempsey Peel said, that her sister left the gym and went immediately to the police department. Good for them. The investigating officer revealed that he had registered at Planet Fitness under a fake name. Oh, well, of course. Why would he use his real name? Planet Fitness doesn't even care about your real gender. After figuring out his real name, Peel said that the police told the, um, them that he had a warrant for doing the exact same thing in a different county. Records reviewed redux by Redux show that he was booked into Cobb County Jail on September 14th for doing, well, what we talked about. In addition, PD told the family that he had, he'd actually done this to other employees and done other stuff. Weeks before the most recent incident, Dixon did it again to the same female employee in the women's locker room. She reported that he was also out there and he was very excited to see her, we'll say. So he had done this to their own employee, their own staff. That I would feel like that employee's got slam dunk lawsuit too. So this guy was getting off on it and he was using the policy, the bathroom policies that Planet Fitness had in place to predate on women. Planet Fitness replies, we are committed to holding Planet Fitness. I'm sorry. No, this isn't them. Uh, so now attorney Bart, Benton announced September 15th that his law firm, Benton and Benton, would be representing the family in a lawsuit against Planet Fitness. Did you know this was going on? I didn't. Leave a like on this video. Give it a share. We are committed to holding Planet Fitness accountable for its actions, Benton said. Our early investigation has revealed that Planet Fitness knew and was on notice of this type of behavior from the perpetrator, but chose to ignore his prior conduct of doing this. Um, because he identified as female, this type of behavior is completely unacceptable and we will fight for justice for our client and make sure that Planet Fitness takes steps to prevent this from happening again. I hope they get a billion dollars. Although Dixon's LinkedIn profile lists him as a sensor operator in the U.S. Air Force, military court records show that he had received a bad conduct discharge in 2019. The designation came after Dixon was court-martialed of breaking into the door room of a female cadet. So this guy was a, a serial, uh, you know, uh, offender. And Planet Fitness was like, yeah, bro, come on in. Whip it out. Chicks love it when you do that. Make sure you're aroused too. Chicks love that when they're just, when they're in their most vulnerable. You see, the female cadet had a male partner in her room against regulations, and Dixon used a master key card to enter her locked room while she and her male partner were sleeping. He left a note threatening to report her to the sergeant unless she sent the word yes to him in a group chat the next day to indicate that she was willing to cooperate with him. Gee, I wonder what that was. I wonder what the cooperation was. In addition to his discharge, he was sentenced to a year in jail for the crime. While Planet Fitness has not confirmed that Dixon identified himself to them as trans, a member gender identity non-discrimination policy on their website states, which we already know, um, the policy does acknowledge the possibility that some members might take advantage of this and falsely claim to identify as trans and merely to use the facilities, um, but they don't care. On Facebook, Peel expressed her outrage that Planet Fitness had continued to allow Dixon to use women's facilities even after doing what he did. They invite kids to work out there for free in the summer, by the way, as well as, uh, as, well as allow peds to use the uh, women's facilities. It's like they are creating an environment for these pervs who come just enjoy themselves. I cancel my membership and so has my sister. I mean, 
good? It's so wild. I mean, these predators are everywhere, by the way. And these policies are enabling them and emboldening them because there's no actual policy. Last night, I got out of the pool at Villa Sports in Colorado Springs and headed to my, the, my locker room to change out of my bathing attire. Um, and I was, as I was in the process of that, I heard a loud male voice behind me. I turned around to see a uh, very happy man. Uh, a man was changing right next to me, not in our private stall, not in a men's locker room where men belong, but right next to me. By the time I realized that he was doing that, who was he was clearly watching me change. I was standing there with you know completely vulnerable. Um, I quickly grabbed everything, ran into the bathroom, changed, walked over to the front desk to voice my disgust to the gym. The manager and assistant manager both said, "Sorry, it's state law." To which I replied, "Show me the law immediately," which it isn't. No one could do that. They still cannot because there is no state law that says I shall be forced to change next to a man. I asked for the law question over five times and was never produced to me because there is no such law. Businesses are required to provide reasonable accommodations for mentally ill people who are confused about their gender or seeking attention. Businesses are not required to force women to change next to them. That is a lie. I do not find this insanity to be cool. I will never tell this man to get out of my space. I will always tell this man to get out of my space. I will never let this issue go. I will never accept men in my locker room, waving his junk around in the mirror whilst playing with his hair. This is not okay. It will never be. I will not be erased, nor will my rights be trampled by men. I will fight this issue till the day I die. Good for them. By the way, update another woman. I just wanted to make everyone aware of an incident that occurred. It happened to another woman. And another woman. I saw men in there too. I just thought I was imagining thing. He was laying there by the jacuzzi, not, not a care in the world with a one piece bathing suit on, but you could tell that there was a, a mouse in the house. We'll say this is unbelievable to think 12 year olds go to that locker room too, sometimes younger. And they filed a police report. Good. They should. These policies, by the way, are set up to allow people to, you know, creep on women. And the gyms that continue to reinforce this, that continue to allow this, deserve to be sued into oblivion. I 100% support Darcy showing. Give this person, it looks like they might have some political interest in telling the story, but it's not just their story. They have several other people saying the same thing. It's not just Planet Fitness. Private gyms are no longer safe for women. I've showed you several large examples as well as other gyms. Be safe out there, ladies. You have my support. Just let me know what you need. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Remember tonight, 5.30 Eastern, I'll be live tonight with Melanie Mack discussing all the wild stuff going on in the gaming community and other news. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.